Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Haunted Event, checking in with team number 2011J, Jester. Uh, just came off the event win, by the way, at the uh, Pigtown Throwdown event. Congratulations on that. Jester here, watched them on the field, absolutely love their robot. A lot of great mat strategy that's going on just, but of course we'll be talking about their intake, going of course into their lift and their catapult as well. A lot of great things you can learn about this great compact robot coming up here on Kits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Jackson, let's show off on your robot talking about your uh, intake on here. I'd love to just hear about uh, the composition of it, any iterations you might have made from your events as well. All right, so our first intake was a little bit rough. We just had one roller and it did not give us enough movement and didn't help us move try balls around, didn't pick them up very well and move them to the catapult. Um, we ended up adding a second uh, a second roller to help move the try ball. Now, how's your motor composition work out for that? Uh, we have a 600 RPM motor that is a one-to-one -one gear ratio, so both rollers are spinning at 600 rotations per minute. And can we see a tri-ball come in and kind of show us how that transfer uh, works for you? Yeah. So, Matt, strategy-wise, are you finding yourself you are uh, actually intaking and going to your catapult a lot of times versus, uh, versus loads? Uh, typically, we just do loads, but I mean... Whenever we need to, if there's a tri ball on the other side that we need to move faster, we can use our catapult. Um, our catapult can just move stuff pretty quickly. Um, but overall, we just use our intake to in to pick them up and drop them out into the goal. Well, speaking about uh, catapult as well too, let's talk more about how your catapult's working out on your robot. So David, talk to me more about uh, what's gone into uh, that. And uh, I'd love to see a couple shots as well too, it'd be great. Uh, the catapult is uh, 12 to 36 to 60, right? Yeah. Uh, it, it's a double slip gear, so it's actually 66 RPM instead of 33. And usually uh, during a match, during the code, it'll rest uh, halfway down to stop tri balls from getting into the catapult so we can intake and outtake more efficiently. And you said from that rest that's also done in programming as well, that's not just mechanical? Yeah, that's programming and mechanical. What, uh, from programming side, like what feedback are you getting in order to do that? Uh, rotation, rotational sensor on the side. And then any uh, changes from your catapult from your uh, first event coming here? Uh, we replaced a few start parts with steel because it can't keep up, the aluminum can't keep up with uh, the strength of the catapult. Well, I think something we really got to wrap up on those robots, talking about the uh, lift that goes into it. Uh, you know, watching it on the field, once again, overall strategy, Gino, I really liked uh, what your team has brought to the table here. So talk to me about uh, everything about your lift and how it, uh, any changes you made and how it works into your match strategy. Uh, so we actually were watching quite a few matches from other teams around, not just the United States, but basically everywhere in the world to see what other people were doing. We saw a few good hang mechs that hang on the horizontal bar but ultimately we decided to go with a uh, hang mech that goes onto the vertical bar, so that way we can just drive up on the barrier as it's a part of our robot anyways. Uh, and the way it really just works, which, uh, it just pops out with a pneumatic solenoid and uh, it just catches the bar and yeah, that's just how we hang. It's yeah, so you're just able to drive right up into it, right? Very almost like passive, other than having it come out, very passive action on there, right? Yeah, very passive. It stays out almost the entire match from our autonomous uh, because it kind of gets in the way of our wings. But other than that, we can hang in the last five seconds on average. Yeah, like I said, watching your last couple matches, able to just drive up right away. What a great uh, tactic that your team is able to bring. Looking here at the uh, Honda Signature event, anything that you have seen from other teams that you might want to take and uh, put on your robot later on or take some inspiration from? Uh, we've seen a few things with especially like our hang mech. Uh, it's good for A tier, but a lot of people are starting to get to that B tier and C tier. So we're thinking about trying to change it to help us get to that B tier in some shape or form. Other than that, for the most part, uh, I don't really think we're gonna change much. 
Well, Oberunner's been such a great game and what a great robot to bring for that. So thanks a lot for taking time to tell us more about your team and your robot. And of course, good luck here at Haunted. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.